Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Minecraft video. It has been 10 months since I've said that and I am back and I am really excited about getting back into Minecraft, getting back into building. So over the last 12 to 18 months, a lot of stuff's been going on in my life and um, just sort of kind of lost focus, lost interest. But uh, everything seems to be getting sorted out, everything's getting better and I feel like I'm at a point where I want to come back over the last like six months I've been thinking about coming back to YouTube, been thinking about playing Minecraft again, and I've sort of like, you know what, no, I'll just put that off, and I'll leave it, and we'll see what happens, and, you know, I'd put it off for a week or two, and I'd be like, you know what, yeah, I actually kind of do want to play, and then I'd be like, when I'd go to play on it, I'd spend like five, ten, fifteen minutes, and I'd be like, actually, yeah, no, I, I don't want to play this, and I've just sort of been doing that over the last six months, until it's gotten to a point now where I am really excited, I really want to play, and I have actually spent the last three or four weeks um, getting back into Minecraft, doing a little, little bit of building. So, here we are at the Egyptian city that we were building uh, a long, long time ago. I think it was July, maybe, I started building this. And it was going to be based all around Assassin's Creed Origins. It was like Egyptian city. It's uh, themed off Alexandria, which is why we have the Lighthouse of Alexandria here. Um or at least styled off that anyway. Um, and I do want to continue with this city. At the time, I think because I was just building these walls and it was a bit repetitive, and I'm doing docks, and I'm not a big fan of ships and boats and stuff like that in Minecraft. That's not really my thing, but I did want to try and push myself. Um, I, th I think just between those two things, I kind of just like, I lost inspiration. So what I want to do is start a new series, and this series is going to be called Kingdoms of Capuchin. Because my name, Cerulean Capuchin, I know I get a lot of questions about, you know, what is Cerulean Capuchin. It basically just means blue monkey. Cerulean, type of blue, Capuchin, type of monkey. Easy. Okay, that's out of the way. So we're going to be doing called Kingdoms of Capuchin. And this is based on uh, B00 and F Whip. They do survival series, like building with whip and stuff like that. Um, and I kind of like that format where instead of doing like, let's build the Egyptian city, let's build this city, let's build this city. We're going to be um, sort of just jumping around all over the place. It keeps things fresh. It stops me from getting um, sort of bored of a style and sort of stuck in a style and being having to think like, oh, well, I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do this. So what might happen is we might spend 10, 20, 30 episodes on one build. We might spend five episodes on one build. Who knows? It depends on how well the series is going, how, like, inspired I am to build in that style and stuff like that so I think that's going to be quite interesting and we have a lot of style so this episode is just going to be a bit talky and I'm going to throw up a map on the screen now and this map is the map of Yarrowin which Lord Daka built and um, yeah so we've got these little markers all around the map kind of Game of Thrones style little shields with symbols um, to represent the different styles that I'm planning. So at the moment there's a few though, there's quite a lot in the the north and the west that is uh, sort of barren. So we need to come up with some ideas that I've already explored the side of the map where the Egyptian city is. So we've got sort of Egyptian, Inca, Rohan, Gondor style, um, there is Greek, um, and in the bottom left of the map we have sort of a Samoan Moana theme thing which I've wanted to do for a while so um, yeah that's, I think that's gonna be quite interesting and what we're gonna do now jump back to Minecraft hey look at that magic of editing um, and now what we're gonna do is we're just sort of jump around and take a look at these locations so as you can see this is the Egyptian city and we are planning on building pyramids and stuff up here and having these city is going to be sort of encompassing this sort of area so we're gonna have like two smaller cities there I also want to try and get a Petra style build into some of these cliffs here. I've not quite gone looking into that. I think this might be a good spot, maybe. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I want to do like a Petra type build. Um, and over here, we're going to have Wild West themed stuff. And we've got some waypoints so we can start jumping around. So let's go Greek Island. And the Greek Island is very close to the Egyptian stuff. 
Um, if I just get the journey map up like that, you can see it's not that far away. You can see the, there's the Egyptian build, there's the lighthouse, and this is the island. And you look at the size of the island, it's a massive island. Um, I really like this top bit here for some temples and things like that. And then down here we're going to have like a little fishing village maybe. Or maybe it's going to be the main part of the village, I'm not sure. But I want to do like classic Greek stuff. Rather than like Greek or Roman, I want to be like more just Greek style. And the other thing as well, like I'm calling this Greek, I'm calling this Rohan and Elven and stuff like that. But I want to try and not to restrain myself. Because that's something I've noticed I've done in my builds in the past. Is where I've done, oh I'm doing this style. And I try and make it exactly like that and if it doesn't look exactly like that I end up getting sort of annoyed with myself and disinterested in the build so it's going to be inspired by and then we're going to start adding stuff and if it doesn't make sense to the style it doesn't matter because I'm making it my own that's the kind of thought process to these that I want to be going through so you can see these hills really really large area uh, I think my render distance is on normal at the moment yep just normal because when I've got shaders it lags a lot out um, so that's the Greek stuff. I think I'm looking forward to doing that. I keep pressing escape to get this menu up when I want to press J to get this menu up. That's quite annoying. Uh, we've got Rohan build, which I'm quite excited to do. So this is going to be similar to Lord Dacus Hemburg. So let's just teleport over to there. Da -da -da -da. And we were building the Golden Hall of the Medicelled, and I think that should fit quite nicely here. We will have to do a bit of a um, terraform and get rid of that mound there I think and then we're going to have a few sort of houses barracks and stuff like that and it's basically just going to be a much smaller version of Hemburg because Hemburg is massive and I think actually it's just across the water here yeah so this is where Lord Dacker is building Hemburg on his map and you can see that's probably two two and a half times the size of this hill that I'm going to be working on here so it's going to be much smaller in size and scale and I think that's that's quite nice it's a smaller build and probably a bit more manageable for me and then going further north I do have a Helm's Deep Fort type thing which I think will look cool here I did think about having a city up here but I don't know I don't like these cliff faces too much and then there is Minas Tirith right in the centre of this map. So I'm going to do some sort of Gondori type build there as well. Now, two places that I really like the look of is we have this Kemmer. I think that's how it's pronounced. Style. And Kemmer is like the uh, Angkor Wat in Cambodia. Is it Cambodia? Colombia? One of them anyway. It's um, over in Asia. And I think that's going to be a really, really nice style. Uh, we will have to get rid of a few of these trees and build some of our own. But I think if we make a clear in here, it's going to look really, really nice. And I'm starting to lag because I've not actually been here yet since I updated to 1.12. And I've got a load of stuff in. Um, but yeah, so I think this is going to be a really, really nice area. Really nice style to work with. If you're don't, not too sure, um, just go type in, if I press the right buttons... Khmer, K-H-M-E-R, or you could also type in Angkor Wat and go look at that. Um, and then two other styles I definitely want to talk to you guys about is we're going to be going back to the Inca and Lake Town. You see I've got Lake Town in there, so quickly we'll just teleport to the Inca stuff. I think this is what I'm going to be starting with first, because I just really like this terrain. The Inca was a build series that I started. It was like one of my first series on the channel. And I really enjoyed it, and it was very different to what everybody else was doing at the time. And I still don't think I've seen much of it. You see, like, Aztec builds and stuff like that, but this is a little bit more specific. And, I don't know, just, I really like the look of this terrain here. And it's going to be just really nice to see what we can actually fit in and stuff like that. So, quite looking forward to building this. And I think this is what we're going to start off with. We're going to leave the Egyptian city for a bit. Um, maybe go back to that soon. But I definitely want to do at least you know, a small sort of village in this section here. At least, like, you know, five episodes, maybe, um, doing the Inca to start off with. 
And then, obviously, like I just said, Lake Town. Lake Town was another big series when I first started. That was, I think, the Inca, the Lake Town, and there was another one um, that was really, really popular when I first started doing my YouTube videos. So I want to kind of go back to them. So we've got a nice big lake here. Probably better to show you on the journey map, the sides of the lake. So you can see we've got a nice big lake there. And we've got, we could probably build something on this island, I guess. But it's going to mostly be in this lake town area here. And I think that's going to be really fun to do. And, uh, yeah, just last one as well to show you guys. We have these beaches here. And this is where my game starts to lag out. So we'll see what happens. But um, I want to do a Samoan Moana themed build. I wanted to do that for a while. I did actually do um, sort of Samoan style houses uh, once upon a time on the Daka Craft server. So that was really, really fun and it's a bit different and unique and just like sort of rather than just doing the generic Tudor style houses that you see all the time in medieval. Um, I like doing styles that are a bit different because it's, like I say, it's different and it's quite interesting. Yeah. So I'm really starting to lag now. I can't go to this area using shaders it just kills my PC um, but if I can try and get the journey map up y you gonna load or are you gonna crash oh it loaded so we have beach one and beach two and I'm thinking of putting this village in the middle here somewhere have a little path going to each beach uh, we're gonna be clearing out a lot of this forest because like I say it's, it just lags me out a lot and I want to have a couple of openings and clearings and probably get rid of these birch trees and put a lot of my own trees in. And this is in the bottom left of the map. And you've got loads of little other islands around as well. I guess people do sort of pirate builds around here and stuff like that. But yeah, really looking forward to this one. So the way I'm looking at it is going to be a big build. The Egyptian city is going to be a big build. It's going to be a big build. The Egyptian city is going to be a big build. Uh, I've got an elven city plan. That's going to be a massive build. Um, and then we've got a few smaller ones like the Helm's Deep project, the Inca village isn't going to be massive, this Samoan village isn't going to be massive, so I feel like we've got enough to sort of move around, if we're getting bored of the bigger builds we can come focus on some of these smaller ones, we might get that, them done in sort of 10 episodes, uh, we might not, but yeah I'm, just, I'm quite excited and I can't really wait to uh, see what we can come up with. Um, there's plenty of space on the map for a lot more builds. I'm still going to be doing of the generic medieval builds, probably in the northwest region of the map. And you've got all the snowy stuff for like Nordic, Viking and all that sort of stuff that people are going to want to see. But if you've got any ideas, if you know the map, maybe you can give me some locations. Um, if you want to see some specific styles, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to send me sort of pictures and inspiration and stuff like that um or you just want to ask me a few questions or chat to me hit me up on discord probably the easiest way to get hold of me now um Strilling capuchin on discord you jump into the conquest reforged lord dacus channels you'll find me in there probably and yeah that is about it so i guess i'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be building some inca stuff probably and yeah still don't have a proper outro to my videos <laughs> all right thanks for watching guys and i will see you guys very soon